Hello everybody, welcome back to RimWorld the Cannibal Cult. Um, today we're um, taking care of a baby and we're building new rooms. I already got some mining done here and I have found some steel which is great. Don't worry, we're not, we're very close to the edge of the map. So we're not going to really dig down anymore. But then this leaves us a, a nice expansion for more bedrooms. I don't know if I want to replace these ones just yet. I think I might just keep them, and then these would just be an expansion to it. So I think that's how we'll how we're gonna do it. I'm just smoothing all the walls out, and I'm gonna light up the area, and I'm also building uh, more stone so that I can make some stone flooring. Other than that, we've been fighting a whole bunch of a uh, whole bunch of diseases and plagues that has been happening but we've been we've been all right no one's uh died because of it yet so that's that's good that's good for us because i can't afford to lose anyone at the moment i mean i can but i really don't want to i took so much time just to get this many people that it's just i don't want to lose anyone else because that would be i would like to keep it where where we are i think we have a pretty good setup with everyone so i want to keep it that way Everyone, sheep is pregnant now. Let's go. We got we got another person pregnant. That's gonna be that's crazy. That is crazy. Uh, that's gonna be some getting. Man, we're gonna have kids over like tons of kids all the time. Which is gonna be cool. Taking we're just gonna have a whole bunch of kids. That'd be cool. I also expanded the storage room. I decided to put all the weapons and clothing down here so that it's not mixed in with here. I think it looks pretty cool. Put a whole bunch of statues down. I'm just waiting for enough marble bricks to be able to build the floors. I was also thinking to build the like storage room over here. But I feel like that's almost too far. So I don't I don't know exactly, but I feel like I'm wanting to kind of expand a little bit more into the bigger hallways like this because then that leaves enough space for us to like kind of defend at and it's nice. So I don't I don't know yet. I, I'm trying to figure some stuff out because like if I could just move everything kind of down into the mountain where we are and just have this as like the front area and then the rest of this is kind of like a giant room that's a kill box would be cool but that's just so much work that i think we're a little bit too far from being able to do that so i don't think we're going to do it um they're traveling he's being followed by enemies and wants your help to signal them towards you a psychic droner machine they're tuned into the female gender and four turrets and one waster defend the site this site will remain un until you destroy it uh we're just gonna we're just gonna leave that for right now I need to get into some of the quests, though. Being able to get Bowman, because Bowman has the psychic powers, or, yeah, psychic focus, but she isn't able to do any powers because she's technically can't level up because there is no powers that she can have. So, like, the only way that I could really think of doing that is getting a, you know, a quest done that will be able to give more a title to Bowman. That's the only thing I can think of. I don't really know. I don't know what to do. I'm really liking how big and open this is, though. I am really enjoy it. I don't have enough stone yet, but look at this. It's looking great already. Gonna turn this all into marble. That'll be cool. And I also am gonna put a whole bunch of sandstone in here as well. So it's not, not looking bad. I think, since we have a little bit of extra components and stuff, I think we're going to make a little room for jeans. I want to be able to do... How big is this stuff? This stuff's quite big. If I can reinstall you up here. And now I think I'm going to do a gene processor. Okay, what does that do? And a, oh, was it like canceled my auto an automated surgery machine that extracts a person's genes and create a gene pack for them. Yep. Okay. And you can force someone into it. They don't like it. 
gene processor is a place near a gene assembler and increases the maximum genetic complexity of the gene. Uh, Xenogerms and can assemble building multiple genes processors. Um, building multiple will increase the genetic complex. Okay, a little further. A gene assembly for creating implantable xenogerms from gene packs stored in nearby gene banks. This stuff's expensive. It's not, not a big enough room, to be honest. So maybe we'll just... Maybe we'll expand over here. I want to get some genes. I want to be able to, you know, hopefully get some decent genes out of it. Probably not, to be honest. I feel like everyone's genes aren't going to be as good as we think they are. We'll do this, and we'll remove that wall. Oh, well, no, not that wall. We'll remove this. If I can build a room for the prisoners, which I honestly can move just temporary in one of these areas, it wouldn't be that bad. But they're right next to the uh, guns, and I don't really want that. We got some rare uh, thrombos. I wonder if we could tame one. Nah, we can't. Is our max level? Oh, it has to be a level nine, and we are at. Or level 10 and we are at 9 that sucks only if I could tame something else to get the animals higher uh, once we can get this finished that would be great I want to see what this would also look like finished see we can move the prisoners in here if we wanted to but I really don't I don't want to do that I don't really know I don't want the prisoners there, and then we could just make this a whole nother workshop area and kind of uh, kind of keep it a certain way. But oh well, I guess we'll just keep it like that, and we'll get rid of these. Well, we're gonna have to mine them. Mine. And then we can add a floor. Where's the floors? I'm blind. Add some floors into here. There we go. Maybe we'll add another standing light down in this corner. I think that'll be good. This is looking good so far. It's, take, it's gonna be a long process, but it's fine. Everyone's still in a good mood. Everyone's doing their thing. It's good, it's going well. I need to start thinking about more cribs though because if everyone's gonna start getting pregnant i'm gonna have kid after kid after kid it's gonna be ridiculous so we gotta be careful with that if we can get let's see let's start these let's go let's build one right there we'll build this and we'll build can we move this over here why are you not why do you not build one there Oh, identical thing already exists. And we're going to build a gene processor. Which we only have enough for one. Okay. This stuff's expensive, but I think it'll be cool to experiment with. We've never really messed with this into this yet. We just kind of casually did the uh, mech stuff. And we, you know... We're not really advanced in that. In order for us to advance and make a whole bunch more mechs, we're going to have to do this, which is Corgi. And we would have to do a summon mech threat. And that would spawn one of these, like, bosses. Which, I mean, I feel like I'm pretty comfortable doing, but I also don't know. But it would summon a boss, and then we pretty much kill the boss, and then we get some kind of chip out of it. And that will allow us to research this up here. A uh, standard mech techs, which then we can get pikemen, scorchers, scythers, and uh, tunnelers, which would be cool. But you know, we don't have, you know, we, well, we have plenty of room, but we don't have a whole bunch of resources, which we're gonna have to go and uh, start doing quests and stuff, especially these like mining sites. If they have any, um, if they have any components in there, I'm definitely going to go hit them up because I would like to be able to... Components are the hardest thing. Steel is, you know, it's iffy. We have plenty of places to go mine still. And so we would be able to easily get some steel. Probably just a little bit more components, but, you know, it's probably best if we can go rob them from a mining place, then we should do that. 
This guy's not really good at any skills, so he's really pointless. Pointless to just, mm, yeah, go and check out. So here we go. We got the gene thingies. Awesome. I don't know exactly what you're supposed to do. This is going to hog a lot of power, I feel like, but I think, I think it's fine. Insert person. You know what? Let's go with Bowman. Let's see what Bowman has to hold for her genes. Let's go, Bowman. I don't know how long this is going to take. It doesn't look like it's super long, so that's good. So this is an assembler. That's what creates it. Create a new implantable xenogerm using data from gene packs in your gene library. Oh, so we will be able to turn any other gene... Genes in... Okay. So any genes that are in here, we'll be able to recombine them and make some new ones as well. So that might be... Might be pretty cool, to be honest. We'll see what we get out of Bowman. Hopefully it's something good and not just some stupid stuff. I don't know how to implant it into anyone. That's the problem. Like, do you just right click on it and have them take it like a drug or something? I don't, I don't know how that works. So it's kind of it's kind of weird, weird to me. You know, I would love to connect these rooms together, have a little hallway connected right here. That'd be cool. I don't know if that would be worth it, but I, I you know. It'd be cool, having it all connected. Starvation, Bowman. I didn't really think about the, the stats. It took a little bit longer than I expected it to be. Okay, we got one. Uh, we got strong intellectual, which is great. That would be nice to be able to throw into, you know, someone else that's in, in here. All right, so we have strong intellectual in here. So, increase by four. Nice. Nice. I guess that wasn't horrible. If we can insert someone. Yeah, we can. So we can force our slaves in there. Not slaves, but prisoners. We'll do that. We'll just throw him in there and see what we get. Just might as well start farming a whole bunch of genes and... Depending on what we get, maybe we'll throw it into someone's. I need to know how to get it, though. So, a small capsule containing a package of genetic information. To use a gene pack, it must be placed in a gene bank near a gene assembler and combined into an implantable xenogerm. If not kept in a powered gene bank, this gene pack will slowly deteriorate. Okay, so we would do this, and then... How would you... Oh, so then you... Oh, I get it. I see. So you would click this, and then you would make a... Oh, I got it. This is cool. I've never done this either. Kind of like the same thing with uh, kids. I've never done anything with the kids. I've barely hit anything with the mechs, and then I here I am doing jeans now. So this playthrough, I've been learning a lot about this game, and it's been great. I've been, I'm having a blast, and I'm hoping that everyone else is too. Um, so yeah, if you do enjoy it, please leave a like, comment something, um, anything, really. I don't care what you comment, I'm gonna respawn. I've been trying to keep, keep responding to everyone's message. I want to be inter interacting with everyone. Um, yeah, so, quick question. How is everyone's day going right now? I want to know. You better fill that comment section with how you're doing. Okay? I would appreciate it. I wanna know. If you're having a bad day, tell me. Hopefully we can get you through it. If you're having a good day, tell me. I want to know how everyone's day is going. I want to be... You know, I don't even know what I was going to say there, but I just want to interact with everyone. Come on. Don't judge me for that. I'm just trying to be nice here. I'm going to shrink this. I don't need this all that big anymore. I had so much stone that it was just filling up everything. Danger pods. I want to make it a request to make a white swarm has been attacking her settlement. She wants to use a signal to mechs to distract them while she clears the hive. If you do, a mechoid cluster will land at Dice Town. The pods contain these. A psychic droner, two mech nodes, one mech high shield, one mech capsule, one mech drop beacon, one auto inferno turret, one mini slugger. Uh, 
It's not the greatest. Two champions will be placed under your control. You will have to feed and house them, but they may die in battle without consequence. I mean, we could easily probably take on the mech cluster. I ju it's just depending on where it lands. That's the that's the thing. If it lands in a spot that's like right here or right into my base, then that would kind of that would be bad. That wouldn't be the greatest. So he's a Hulk body. That's cool. Slow wound healing, though. All right, we're going to do another prisoner again. I want to throw them in there. I want to just keep gathering these genos. Geno germs. Because they were Xeno germs. That's what they are. Because that would be that would be cool, being able to. Uh, and then we got a heat wave, which is great. It's okay. The house has been actually kind of cool lately. 65, a little too cool for everyone. I bet you everyone's kind of upset about it. No, actually, not really. Uh, warden for hire. Uh, la, 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 la. To keep prisoners secret, prisoners are sick with blood rot and will require daily treatment. The disease can, disease can be slowed with high quality care and medicine, but generally cannot be cured outright. If the disease becomes severe, the prisoners will die to ensure you have the necessary medical supplies. Mm. Oh, so ensure. Um, to recently attempted a hack mechoid control node and have targeted by an orbital mechoid swarm. Two mech clusters at times. Nope. No thanks. Sorry. No thanks. That would be cool though. Having eight of the reinforced barrels. That'd be that'd be cool, but that's that's just dang, too dangerous for us. We got a marriage going on for sheep and will. Which is great. Or sheep and huggins, not sheep and will. What is that? Robust. Inspect genes. So incoming damage multiplier times seventy five percent. Nice. It makes him a little bit stronger. I can't wait for this room to be finished. It'll be nice. Hey, look at another one of those. We're going to harvest that. We already have four of them. I would like to actually throw them around, though, because then they would fill up and be cool. Ah, uh, we got a toxic fallout. So, we're going to have to... Our bots are not worried about that. Our elephant here is going to get sick. So I think we're going to have a area for our elephant. We're going to expand the zone for the animals. You know what? We're going to make a... No, we're not going to make a room, but... We're going to allow our animal inside for the time being. Just because I would rather have our animal survive. I thought I renamed you. She-Devil. That's a perfect name for the elephant. She-Devil. Come on inside. It's Everyone stay inside, please. I would prefer you to stay inside. I think I'm going to add a door here. Allows us to go in from here. This in. Don't know yet though. We'll see. Where are you going, Jackalope? Oh, you're... That was dumb. I sh should have canceled that. It's fine. What are you grabbing? Oh, you need to stop with cutting stone chunks. No more. You don't need to cut anymore. Where'd you drop that, though? You dropped that, like, in the middle of the floor, didn't you? Oh, you put it on the table. Look at that. Look at that. We're done. All these could cancel, because I don't... I can't reach them. So, Look at that. Our room is officially done. It looks great. It looks awesome. And then this room's also done, and we still have a leftover of all 900 and 700 of them, so we're not, we're not bad. Guys, can you stay out of the toxic? 
What do you build? What do you? Oh, you're hitting. Okay. I'm gonna build a roofed area. I think it would be smart building a roofed area right here. Maybe right here as well. Just so that way we're a little bit, you know, covered just a little tiny bit. Because everyone seems to be just, you know, doing their own thing. Ah, we've got a raid. A nice, a pretty decent sized raid as well. Still, they're primitive tools. Are they attacking right away? Yes, they are. At least we built the roofed area here now, so we're not going to be affected by it. So that's that's good. We'll keep it that way. All right, we're going to have to get everyone up and running, though. Get up. And get to position. They shouldn't make it very far, to be honest. Most of them should die through there. And then most of them are going to probably die right there. Um, let's, let's send up Corgi and Sheep up to here. Yeah, most of them are getting taken out right there. Look at them go. Get them, guys. Get them. Oh, yeah. I mean, actually, quite a few actually made it through the traps, which is surprisingly. Uh, or surprising. They're fleeing now. Oh, get away. Let's go cut these guys down. At least that's not completely destroyed. What? Bowman, what happened to you? Friendly fire? Good job, guys. Everyone survived. Got a lot more human meat now. What is that? Oh. A large piece of an ancient ship has crashed nearby. Its mysterious influence will kill all plants in an expanding circle around itself. Destroy it as soon as possible, but beware. It will probably defend itself. Uh, is that it? Yeah, it is. Great. No, that is it. Oh, my. Oh, about 23 Militor bots. Dang. Alright, we're gonna have to take those out as soon as possible. I wish... Wish we didn't have so much toxic fallout. It would be nice to get rid of this, and everyone's gonna be in it, so it's gonna be not the greatest. Um, it's, it's alright so far. We defeated the raid. And we're going to have to uh, build more turrets since they got rid of our turrets. As long as this isn't destroyed, I would... We need to be able to defend those just a little bit more. We also... Yeah, we're going to have to take this out. Because it is growing. Six cells per day. Nine. Nine per day. Oh, yeah, it's, it's expanding quite a bit. That's not good. Not good at all. That's a lot of Militor bots, though. What's their range? At least it's not horribly far. Yeah. Oh, and then we get a Mechoid cluster. That's going to be great. That's uh, going to be nice. Uh, where is that landing? Of course, it's right there. Of course. It doesn't have any big turrets, thankfully. It has a mech assembler, though. It is dormant. And another f damn thingy that gets rid of it. Oh, uh, Proxim. Okay. Nope. There is a lot of, there's a very, okay, you know what? I feel like we can actually get rid of that very quickly. Bowman, I hope your toxic buildup is not very, okay, it isn't. So we're going to get, we're going to send Bowman out here. Bowman's range is very good. So if we can take out this part right here and blow up this huge area, that would be nice. 
I don't know if it's going to work out, but we'll see if it it does. I, I really, really hope so. I sent Corgi into here to get some jeans out of him. Um, out of her, I guess I should say. Um, Bowman can't stay out here for long. Let's get Bowman up a little bit closer, because, yeah, there we go. I'm going to... We're going to fire at that right there. Hopefully Bowman can take it out as soon as possible. Uh-oh. Oh, no. That's got, that's got some range to it. Bowman, I need you to get away. Shoot that guy. Kill him as fast as possible, please. All right, go. Back up, back up, back up, back up, back up. I know we just rebuilt all of that, but that's... That's fine. That's just what we're going to have to do. Um, can you get into here? Here they come. Here they come. I'm going to have to get everyone else, because that's not good. Not good at all. They kind of... We need the shotgunners up close. I need Will. I need... You could just kind of stay right here. We'll see how that goes. Is there anyone else that's coming? Jackalope? Corgi. I need Corgi. But Corgi's in the machine. So most of them died. The big guy is going to be a problem. Will, I need you in cover. Just in case. Alright. We Okay, big guy's down. Good. All right, they're all down. Everyone can uh, get a, get out of there. And these are 0.6 days, Scyther. Um, I need to actually, you know what? We're going to send you and you. Both of you are going to come over here. We're going to kill this thing. Get rid of this one anyways. That'll be, that'll be nice to do. All right, I know that you're toxic. It's not very good. What's your range? Uh, you can stay right there. And you can fire at that. What's the damage? It's very low. Boom. You're dead. Let's get rid of that. Nice. Good shit. We got that easily taken care of. Without anyone dying. Now we just gotta take care of this one. That's the problem. Which this one should be fairly easy. Uh, everyone needs to get in though. Everyone's... Toxic buildup. Well, no, toxic buildups are actually not that bad right now. So, we're, we're good. I think we're fine. We've been kinda going through a lot at the moment. Constantly rebuilding these damn spikes, which is not good because we're running out of steel. We're running out of steel and we're running out of wood. I mean, we can always get that easily. It's just, you know, I just rebuilt all of those and they're gone. Just like that. But, oh well. Things happen, I guess. And we're still surviving. So that's that's what's good. And I think we should be getting some plasteel out of these guys, I'm hoping. I wonder what uh, gene we got out of. We got bald. Nice, Corgi. You got. You gave us bald. <laughs> we don't need that, but I guess it, it's fine. It's whatever. We're gonna have Bowman take care of this as well. It's gonna. Oh, shot shot the wrong thing. <laughs> oh my, Bowman, get the hell away. And they kind of turn back, which is good. I'll have you go back up then. I'm going to target some of them. Please. Long jump! Good job. Oh, come on. Nice. Nice. Well, we got one. 
At least we're kind of leveling up the skills. We're going to send the other crew up here as well. Bowman, I, I took out quite a few of them, as you can see. There's quite a few down, but I'm going to send these guys up and uh, start slowly taking them out as well. Hopefully they don't just come rushing them. And they'll not be good. Oh, somehow you're down. Why? You got food poisoning. Nice. Do you guys have food poisoning? You don't. And you're fine. Which sucks, both of you have the shotguns, so that's not going to be great. Back up, 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 back up. All right, everybody. Bowman took a shotgun shot right into the face. One didn't, didn't hurt her, so she's fine. But I think I'm going to end it there. And then the next video, we can take care of that, that ship, ancient ship. So yeah, thank you guys so much for watching, and we will see you guys in the next one. Bye-bye.